Welcome to a presentation on tapered inverted roof insulation. Tapered inverted roof insulation not only saves time with the removal of screed, it offers superior design to the client specifier and is a cost effective roof drainage solution. We all prefer to follow good practice and promote a fall on a, an inverted roof. However, achieving this is not always cost effective. The code of practice states that an appropriate fall should be accumulated within the flat roof design and that the roof drainage is to the code of practice. Falls on an inverted concrete structural roof deck typically require the need for a screed. These are two examples where architects have specified uh, a fall on a roof and require the use of a tapered inverted roof uh, board. Clients prefer a fall on a roof and architects do not intentionally design as for a zero fall roof as they prefer to follow best practice. The Code of Practice BS 6229 states defines flat roofs as having a minimum finished fall of 1 and 80. Uh, completely zero flat roofs typically have a zero a fall of less than 1 and 80 and outside are outside the scope of best practice. The building regulations approved document H, H3 in particular relating to roof drainage states that the uh, adequate provision should be made for rainwater to be carried from the roof of the building. Effective drainage to the Code of Practice BS EN 12056 Part 3 will, will minimise ponding, reduce silt build-up and minimise stresses due to freeze-thaw cycling. In summary, BS 629 states that an appropriate force should be accumulated within the flat roof design and that the roof drainage is to the Code of Practice BN BS EN 12056 Part 3. Screeds. The new installed screed contains water required for cement hydration. The remaining water or free water needs to leave the screed in order for it to be dry to receive weatherproof coverings. Screed typically dries at a rate of 1 mm per day if there is no rainfall during this drying out phase. Screeds are typically semi-dry and the zero slump workability typically results in an open surface texture which more easily absorbs rainfall than well compacted concrete. A hair hygrometer should be used to determine whether the screed is dry to receive coverings. The worst methods are really guesswork or visual inspections. If a screed is not dry, the moisture or free water in the screed can typically rise up through the screed when hot applied weatherproofing systems are used and this can sometimes create small bubbles within the waterproofing layer. Screed adds, adds weight to a roof. The previous RCI articles highlight screed has clear implications in relation to uh, building frames and foundations leading to further costs. Reducing the number of uh, stories on a building can certainly impact on its com commercial viability. Um, and screed weight can also make it unsuitable for refurbishment projects. The Code of Practice for Screeds, BS 8204, states that the surface regularity of a semi-dry sand cement screed is plus or minus 10 millimetres over a 2 metre straight edge resting in contact with the floor. Time associated, time associated with the installation of a screed and the cost of suitable structural fibres should the designer wish to expand the joints uh, greater than 6 metre bays all add to the total build cost. All in all, it's not very surprising that main contractors and specifiers opt to remove the screed from a roof instead of opting for a 0-4 roof which is outside the scope of best practice. A Davis Langdon study showed that screed costs approximately £10 a square metre more than uh, tapered insulation. Tapered inverted roof insulation requires no drying time, whereas screed requires a minimum of 40 days. And the Davis Langdon case study also showed that screed, uh, the weight of tapered insulation is 2% of that of a screed laid to falls. These are two previous RCI examples, why, which explaining why tapered insulation is better um, than a flat roof for warm deck constructions with single ply. 
The Davis Langdon article for Kingspan shows the cost effectiveness of a tapered installation over screed, and the article on the right uh, describes the technical benefits for the client specifier for tapered inverted roofs. And it's a good quote in there saying that roofs, um, flat roofs, shouldn't be flat. Although the articles were written for warm deck flat roof construction for single ply, the same principles apply for inverted roofs. So here is the new tapered inverted roof board. Uh, it's the board dimensions are 1200 millimeters by 600 millimeters. It has a 1 and 84, and we have a minimum thickness board and a maximum thickness board. The introduction of manufacturing FRI in 5 millimeter, millimeter increments and now 1 millimeter increments, and also the increase to, in thickness to 250 mil has had significant uh, benefits to the performance of tapered inverted roof insulation. The U-value could range anywhere between 0.25 to 0.1 watts per meter squared Kelvin. The tapered inverted roof will really, uh, the tapered options depend on the size of the roof, the size of the, uh, the height of the upstand board, the location of the rainwater outlets, uh, whether it is new build or, ref or refurb, and the required thermal transmittance of the roof. Each roof will have to be individually assessed. If a roof is required for individual assessment, please contact us for more information. Up to now, clients prefer a fall on a roof with either a cut to fall single ply roof or an inverted roof with screed. Tapered inverted roof can now fill the construction void when the screed is removed. The inverted roof waterproofing is protected by the insulation it is on the wall side of the insulation and, and is kept at a fairly constant temperature over the year. This gives the client confidence that the roof will maintain its water tightness for the lifetime of the building. Tapered inverted roof removes the need for screen insulation and is a cost effective roof drainage solution. The tapered profile uh, prevents 100% of rainwater um, flowing through the gaps um, either in um, liquid or vapour form. Tapered FRI gives you the slope without the need for investment in costly structural changes and it allows for simple drainage arrangement. Thanks very much for this presentation.